Welcome to another episode of Salty Country. I've been busy, didn't video it. I got out here and started kind of picking around where the yellow jackets were. Got most of the pile stacked behind me. And finally, I just took the thumb and just grabbed right in where the yellow jackets were at. They kind of swarmed around that area, but after I moved that that thumb full of trees and brush behind me, they were still like, I don't know, I think they were maybe in the ground and I would covered up where they were in the ground. So anyway, there's a couple of them over there still, I guess, trying to figure out where home's at. Um, if I do uncover, their hole in the ground, I will pour my magic potion in it and eliminate them. But as you can see, I got all the pile, well, the majority of the pile behind me. I've had the bobcat over here. I've moved all that to the pasture. It's probably 10, 10 loads with the bobcat with the grapple on it. These few trees were in there. They're too long for me to, I've got uh, this old barn that we're gonna tear down and a tree that I have to go between to get back out into my dad's old driveway. Then I got pasture fence on both sides. So, gonna be a certain length. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get out here. I'm going to, restage this this bigger stuff behind me kind of clean this area up the best I can uh, I might have to get in here with the bobcat some of these limbs are low hanging and it's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with um, with the excavator I can see some yellow jackets flying around the excavator arm not right now but anyway Axel's been over there kind of walking through them. They haven't messed with him. So I'm going to get busy, get this last little bit done, and then all I'll have to do is put the bucket on the bobcat and dress this area up. I got me some Lipton, Georgia-style peach iced tea. If you've never had this, it's awesome. It's not a sponsored video, but I would definitely uh, put in good word for them if they were my a, a sponsor. I love this stuff. I don't I don't drink it a, a lot. I don't drink a lot of sweets. It's usually water, coffee, that kind of stuff. But when I want something sweet, this is what I get. So stick around, we're gonna get the rest of this staged and get this area cleaned up.
Let's see if I can get this one right here spun around. trying to keep them as lined up with each other as possible so that I can uh, get as much in the grapple one. One thing I figured out with the grapple and the bobcat, that's really the most I've used that grapple, just kind of getting used to it. You can, if you got the boom arms down, you can get the bottom tines of that grapple into your track, so you gotta be careful. Get this stuff kind of slid out of the way so I could work my way around. I got a yellow jacket flying around me. Just checking me out, I guess. 
I think they hate the excavator. But they surprisingly they've left me alone for the most part. Alright, I got one more to get. See if I can slide this thing to me a little bit. Spin it. So I can grab some more of this right here. Yeah, when I took all these trees out, I should have thought about how I was going to get them to a burn pile, but I was more concerned about getting them down. They were getting so close to the house, they were making the siding turn green. So, anyway. is having a grapple which I've been looking for a long time for a grapple just have to take my time up here under this tree So don't tear a hydraulic hose off. We know about hydraulic lines. We don't like messing with them. I may put the GoPro on when I move the uh, pile with the bobcat. It's, uh, it's kind of messy with all the dirt and debris falling out of those trees when you're carrying them, but it makes quick 
quick progress of it for sure. All right, let me see if I can get this other stuff under this tree. Put in this pile. into these limbs a little bit. gonna be tough getting under here I may have to just hook it and see if I can back up uh, let's see I might can grab this right here This is a beautifully shaped old oak. Well, it's not that old. It's uh, this oak tree came up after I cleared this pasture. Probably twenty something years ago, maybe. So that. That oak's probably 20 something years old, but it's shaped up really nice. The uh, one thing about having goats is they eat all the lower limbs. They eat what they can reach. So they uh, are pretty good pruners of trees, huh? let's put it that way. stuck in there some kind of weird way so I can get it out. Things jammed in there pretty good.
All right, there we go. Just had to see how it was stuck in there. All right, I think I'm gonna clean that up with a bobcat. I'm gonna get this right here. Spun around and put on this other pile. And get the bobcat. Some of those may end up being a little long. But I guess I'll have to break them when I go by that tree. Snap them off and I'll get them on the next trip. See if I can ease in here and slide some of this stuff into a pile. And I'll grab it with a thumb. There's a swing under this tree that Ellen used to uh, do photo shoots at. There's a old, what reminded me that there's an old tarp I'm dragging. They used to wrap it up. She'd have flowers and all kinds of stuff. on the ropes of the swing so they covered up the heck from the rain. This old tarp, I've got to see if I can uh, work this pile away from it. Get it thrown in the trash. back up. The burn pile is already uh, pretty good size again. Yeah, you could tell from that pile that was here, there's a lot of stuff in it. Now it's a little bit more consolidated down there. So I broke it, some of it up, grabbing it, moving it.
Had a weird sound. I thought, what in the world is that? Put a fire extinguisher here in here the other day. It's rocking back and forth. It's behind the seat. I'd hate to be somewhere and not have any way to put a fire out. Alright, well this is in pretty good shape. I'm going to get this out of the way. That way when I get the rest of this moved with the bobcat and the grapple. bucket back on and fine tune all this. A couple of yellow jackets buzzed around my head when I went through there. I think they're in the ground right there somewhere and I covered them up. Big difference. Glad to have that thing out of here. All right. I want to thank everyone for watching. Remember, if you like our content, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.